So, pwede yung nakita natin, pero mas maganda siya sa Clint eh, versus the Clint. So, maganda ng lane stage na yun. So, Lunox, uh, Rafaela, one of the classic ones. Uh, maganda rin sa Popol and Koopa is, uh, meron kang, uh, parang, uh, kaiba yung ano eh. Yung, yung carry, di ba? Parang yung shot selection niya, minsan matatangke. Ng, uh, matat kaya siyang takihin ng Pop, ng Koopa. So, pwede siyang ano, pwede siyang, ah, uh, Pwede siya mag -isagot. That's why I, I, I do understand the popular gumay in the gold game. Maganda rin siya versus Clint. Um, some gold gamers will argue na kayang-kaya nung uh, popular ko pa yung Clint. Alright, well, looking at the draft here, it looks like Blacks International ang nahanapan ng sagot ng next week Evos. If we're talking about a one-on-one -on -one comparison, like counters for counters, logically speaking, nabanggit mo Wolf, yung Khalid and Esmeralda relationship you have towards the late game. Again, the carry can go head to head with the Aldus. Ika kite niya lang, and then eventually masya shred. Pero nakalimutan natin, baka ito yata yung naging isang early game Aldus sa liga <laughs> ng MPL and competitive Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Let's go into the game now. Game number two. Next to Evos, they came in with a better draft this time around. Maybe they can steal a game away here, even the odds one to one. Here we go. Magsimula si Mr. Del Rosario. It's a young purple at same mga gawin ni John Paul Salonga. Ngayon, biglang nag-make sense sa akin yung Lunox versus Matilda at saka dito eh. Kasi masakit talaga siya. Tapos kaya niya ngayon, no? parang sila may sustain. So kung trading ang labanan, lamang na lamang ang Blackies International na yun. No? Binubuli lang nila. Because of that light mula doon sa Lunox, nahihirap pa pumorpa itong Matilda at saka itong Johan. Ang taas ng uptime, no? And uh, napabawi yung up-looking matchup. Ejector! On to Hanji! He's gonna have to fall here. First blood goes over to next play, Evos. Nice flicker usage, malaki ka din sa early pa lang yung paggagamit niya ng, uh, ng flicker pero so, sulit na yun. Imagine at 50 seconds na gamit mo agad yung flicker mo offensively for your team. Uh, that's really good para sa NXP Evos. Yep, uh, plus the fact na naka-pull yourself together siya. So yung bilang niya ay 90 instead of 120. Let's uh, check out uh, this uh, XP lane matchup, Ureshi versus Dominic. It is the execute, Wolf. Confirmed, execute yep. uh, kalid niya to. Yep. Maganda ito para sa Khalid, for sure. Ang maganda dito kasi, since Khalid siya meron siyang passive, nakakaikot siya as we saw in the mid lane. So after niya ma-fast clear yung lane niya, pumunta siya sa ibang lanes para tumulong sa NXP Evos. Further bolstering yung kanilang um, early game composition. Or, pwede rin siya maging uh, bully against si Esmeralda. Pwede niya tambayan niya Esmeralda na yan. And wait for him to go to execute range and then win the lane afterwards. Mm -hmm. Now, V, binabantayan si Owl dito. Hayes gonna spot him out. Rain down a few blossoms, and there you go! Raging Sandstorm! Massive stun dito ni Haji, but it's not enough. I think next to Evos, alam nilang lamang sila sa early stage of the game. Two minutes in, that's about 500 gold ahead. Cadenza finally gets one! It's the actual purple! Na delay na dito si Wise. Ganda nung, ganda nung club si Poka at ako nung 13. Yep, but H2O oh. is in trouble! John Paul Salonga falls, Dalek Imam gets the kill! Ureshi, gonna try to buy time again. Gonna try to regroup. Missed the... Uh, missed the opportunity dito. Kadenza, hindi pa yata ready yung kanyang uh, ejector. Pero wala naman damage sa mid. So Venus yeah. gets away with it. Tapos itong jungler sa mga farmer na... na uh, jungling emblem. O oh, itong mage slayer na ngayon ay demon slayer na tawag. Uh, para sa mga farm heavy na mga jungle. This wasn't the first time. Can they call the mass season 5? Ginagawa na ito. Oh! Yup! Ejector on to 1! That's going to be Mr. Del Rosario surviving with just a sliver of health. Magpubuhay pa ang Aldous and they disengage. Well done from uh, NXP. Actually, taking advantage. Tapos nabibigyan na ng farming sa H2. Hindi ganun kalangin yeah. naman ng Blackness oh. International. And the fact na nakukuha nila yung mga turtles, that's very good. Oh, no, no, not now. Bijita Same bot lane trying to get the kill on Owl. Instead, he's gonna fall. Now, Bijita Same, Bandan Likod, Nia Venus at Nihaji. Haze, maybe one or two seconds too late. That's gonna be Dominic. In Iwan Iwan getting your lane, you know? So, Medjo, Magandarin your matchup. There's a falling star moon. Nothing's gonna happen. This is the. the the, 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 the endless XP fight. Yung, Wala, Wala na mama resan nila. Kasi pareho sila sustain. Yeah. Yung ano kasi, uh, makikita natin mula sa NXP, but every time na napapawin sila ng Blackness International, nawawala sila ng vision, kaya naman nag-go nila yung bottom lane. Yeah. Oh no! Venus looking low! Apropisha, Hades! 
Dapat pagsak ng konti. Wise come in. Chase Faith. Oh, one punch man. Taken down Hayes. That's a few stacks on the first skill of this wise. One in three in four minutes. Namang ng 1K ang Black International. Kaya Deja nagahanap dito. That's gonna be the flicker. And the ejector. Papabagsain dito si Cadenza. Ito na yung mid-game spike ng isang Lunox. Oh no, para sa Blacklist Inter para sa NXP. Hindi nila na-check na nandun na ibang members ng Blacklist International. Ay, hinabol nila sa Wise. Understandable naman. May clean sila at meron silang Jawhead. So there's a kill potential pero hindi ulit nila na-scout. Yung vision ng NXP Ebos dito, tinatry door na sila. Um, uh, Leo, at kitang-kita natin na meron silang mga good intentions. Pero dahil wala silang information, hindi nila na-convert into actual kills. In fact, sila pa yung namapanish na Blacklist. Yep, which is a far cry from game number one. Na sobrang lamang nila sa vision. This time around, medyo gipit. They have to buy their information with so much resources. And that's gonna be a push down bottom lane. Na alamang doon si Owl. Up top, ginamit ang Chase Fate para lamang cross ng river. And they've switched H2. Gonna be farming up here. Tapos sa bottom naman dito sa mid, si Oreshi would be dangerous. Maganda ito, ejector on to one. Kulang sila ng damage. They're gonna retreat. Cadenza, gonna recall. Nice usage of the darkness. Ulti malad sa Lunox though. Dash out pala, palayo dun sa initiation ng NXP. Alam natin na siya yung potentially pwede yung jump din. Up. And the jumps on XP Evos are lethal. Pero dapat mag-all-in sila. And it's so hard to go all-in. Yun nga kung kulang ka ng vision. So, next was they have to be a little more careful. And Black Lives Matter, they're doing their, the next best thing. Is they're stopping the vision. That's going to be the freaking eagle. Plus an ejector. Owl, not going to survive this one. Or she gets a kill. Masastaan niya yung Festival of Blood. To be the chase fate. Alam, the Black Lives Matter, nasaan lahat na miyembro next to Evos. But it might be too late. This top lane, tier one, might go down. Dalawang nandyan. Si Donut at saka si Hayes. Let's see. Lumito nga pa, honestly, besides red, uh, besides the red going down through bottom, next to Evos, pag may piniri silang puntahan, nakukuha nila. That's right. Meron silang carry, tas Matilda join. Good lane control. At uh, dominant sila. Uh, so yun, oh, sakit talaga ng ASME. Laban sa mga yung shields! Ang daming shields ni Hayes, kinain lang ni Dominic. 1-0-1 on this uh, Esmeralda. Na, actually, I have to comment as well. Na, nahanap niya yung tempo. Dapat talo siya dun sa lane with Oreshi, right? Pero the fact na may jagilan sila. Step in, step out. They're okay. Oh no, Ejector. By Cadenza, sasalayo ng Raging Sandstorm. Why is he gonna go down here? Hindi na na-heal. No, Rafaela. And that's going to be the... Hadji DJ coming in! Underneath the O1! Oh, my Venus confirmed the kill of the John Paul Salonga. Mababa ang buhay ng mga membro ng next play Evos dito. Hindi lumaban. It's going to be both teams fighting their time. Not a good engage on either side. Pressure is still on. Sobrang gandang take up mga Blacklist as they stopped each to once again. Second death dun sa carry. The combination is there and Haji DD. Sobrang pre-pre na. Ganda kasi yung start para dito kay Haji. 3-1 and 3 on the Lunox means at least meron itong COD tsaka kung Lightning Trunchon Man o Genius One yung kanyang pinili. We'll see. I think Red yung maganda dito pili yun is yung uh, Genius Wand. Para may pang burst mm -hmm. talaga sila gamit yung uh, AGDB. Yup, AGDB proved well in the early the game. Turtle so going over here. Two Blackness International, ang huling Turtle ng larong ito. Two minutes until we see the first Lord. Though not masaspatan dito si Wise. And that's gonna be a potential engagement on bottom. Was that a flicker? Ejector, a kickback play! Taken down out! Ahulin natin yung bandang dulo nung play na yun. Oreshi getting one more stack. 3-0-1 on this Khalid. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we go to the mid lane. Let's go for a hatching. Oh! Forcing out the order brilliance from the Lunox. Talik Imam has to retreat. Dominic, nakatakalaman niyo dito. Mabilis ang kakas na may ilalim ng Tier 1. Hayes pushing on forward. 4v2 situation sa may gitna. Tapos ito, si Donut. Nagdanaol na ng small creep camps. Yan na let it go. They have other priorities here. Big shoutouts kay Marlon Marcelo dun sa Peso team sa mga XS. Si Boss JBU. Hello po sa inyo. Sir Brian Lim, hello. Thank you for making this possible. And we're just moments away from crowning our Team Seaball representative para sa mga national tournaments natin for Mobile Legends. That's crazy to think about. <laughs> yep, this is a historical event no? that will lead to more history being made in this beloved esport of ours and in this industry. We are at a precipice right now, Black International. Could have been on one, two! Last pa pa nila doon si Hayes! Nabigla si Mr. Batahanon! And right now, next to Evos, they're scrambling for information. 
And again, it's a lack of vision. I think that it opened up because of the chase fate. Exactly. Why can't that again? Ingo Gundel as he wise. If they get the killers with it, nice cut still play. Oh no, that's three, one. three, one. Could be dangerous. Oh, look at the damage on H two. Hindi kinaya. Survive for maybe one or two more seconds. Pero na huli na. Anlayo ng ingo ng blacklist. Gusto ko ako dito sa Blacklist International kahit na kuwan sila ng kill doon, di sila nag-overextend. Tinatanggap nila na ay short break na to. Well, next play Evo's good heads up play. Kailangan nila kapatulong itong mid, that's why they keep on commenting this mid lane. And they're now gonna make their own version of the Ube. Exactly what I was gonna say. This is the next play Evo's Ube strat. Ang bilis nila yung takedown to Lord na to. Mind you, this is a 9 minute Lord! All his time will run to make it na! And that's gonna be all of the skills coming down! Oh my Venus falls! Red the Queen is dead! Somebody goes down as well! Here comes Wise! That's going to chase Fate! Well, Asha must also talk to on, and instead it's a two for none. Not much happened on the side of Black International, but at least they contested the Lord. Clear win for next play there. Yep, clear, clear win for the next play. In fact, four hundred gold lang in the back. Good job. Uh, genius one. That was clear of this. I want to go on a third item. Yeah. So from the list, don't take down the guy and the Oreshi because may knock up then. So he went. Uh, he might go for uh, after genius one. Baka pag, I think a pinaka maganda item dito is the delay. Para may four crystal. Instead, like to try. Let's go for the truncheon and now Cadenza gonna go for the guiding wind. Nick of time, the very last second moment for Hayes to save him. But wait, lang. Sabi yata ang kolyata ni Kapitan. Wait, lang. Kaya pa nato kaya nagrasy. Continue to play coming in. Lord taken here. It's too late. Next play, Evos. A little gun shy. Blackness International takes the clean objective. What? Uh, what a play coming out from Dominic. Tago sa dotas ng Polish Starman para maharang ang next play, Evos. So eventually, Blackness. Secures the Lord. Di pa parin pating yah, pating without yung damage out ng Phoenix Pivos. They're just behind by two thousand. At kita ng kita natin meron silang kill threats. If they jump on one, meron kang carry, meron kang kalit for the execute and you also have damage from Clint. Also to add to that, dalawa yung lockdown ng Phoenix Pivos and stoppable force as well as the circling eagle. So. Kayang kayang kumuha ng kills ng NXP Evos, Blacklist, let's see, and the revel into how they will try to push with this story. Mm-hmm. Look at this push play by Blacklist. Lamang sila dito, they know exactly how to get him. Probably Star Moon on to Haze. My ejects are patana para ma buhay pa. But Kapitan has to go down. Bataanon falls. Now mid lane pressure. Top lane as well. May Lord pa sa baba. So yung six man ng Blacklist ay tumutulong sa push. Eventually it'll help take down that inhibitor blast. Para maatulong sa susunod na waves and to take what they can. Look at this! Ang nalim ni Mr. Del Rosario! What are you doing? The punish on two wise! Haji! Haji GG! Will he survive? The answer is no! Despite the holy baptism! Is that worth it though? Double kill! Plus the inhibitor push! Here we go! Quick stand guard still online here for Oreshi. Killing on the threat. Napush back na ng next Ingos. They bow it! One more kill on the queen. Take her on out. Our falls as well. This is disastrous for Blacklist International. You don't kill on the Zira. 100% disastrous. Nakuha pa ng double kill si Dorothy. Eventually gets the killing spray. Hindi man niya nakuha ko triple kill pero bawit bawit na siya dito. 315 on this clip. Makakuha sila ng Tore. Maybe just settle for the buffs ngayon kasi wala na mga buff niya. But they only lost two turrets after that. Tapos nakuha po sila ng maraming mga maraming mga kills. I think yung next play Evo is congruent na ngayon sa pagbawi. They just have to make sure na matidepensa nila yung mga Tore nila. To be fair, uh... Yes, maganda yung nangyaya para sa next play Evos, pero ang pwede ko sabihin din is medyo self-destructed siya. Kasi yes, nakalamang sila sa kills, yes, nakachoke sila ng purple, nakapush sa mid, pero dalawang inhibitor yung wolf eh. And again, you know what we always say, inhibitor, uh, turrets, actually, turrets don't respond. Uh, would, 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 is that still a good play in the end, in the long run? No, I think hindi. <laughs> Kasi patagal na 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 I think yung tines na lead post test lang yung Black Knights International. They know na afford nila maglumalim. And I think gusto talaga ng gawin ni Haji to yung Ruby DD play kasi hindi siya na Ruby DD na start lang yun na gawain. Oh, Dominic, magkukumilit. Okay, clear answer by Black Knights International now. They're gonna contest this Lord. And they can easily do it. They have clean. Oh, nice good seal play. Here we go. Kadayan nagaharap ng isa. 
And they're gonna jump in. Quick stand oh, sorry. Rafi just had some not hitting anything. Pero na force out na rin yung order of brilliance. So bilang na sila na ultito. Bilang na ko ano meron. That's going to be the pinwheels thrown out by H2. And there's the holy healing. In, out, in, out. I need to make a dot. Rasta Haji DD coming in. Donut falls. Kadev does well. Two for one so far. Worth it. Kabin is Halek Imam. Kureshi falls as well. Owl just throwing these spears. Throwing these spears. And it was just Hayes and H2. Yung mga veterano na yung next play ang natira. You see, sobrang ganda ng play na yun. Mid animation ginamit niya yung darkness. Tapos gamit Flaker para sobrang sakit na damage siya tinaman yung darkness. Tapos damage shoutout mula din sa Chaos Bolt was enough. Alam din nila na, na Flaker lang hawak ni Donut. So hindi siya makatakas after nung talon ni Owl. Ang ginamit yung uh, stun with using the first skill. Napakaganda ang heads up tayo mula sa Blackness International. This is so perfect. Connection ni Owl at ni Hachi. Hindi nga na siya super Hachi PC na mayroong uh, uh, brilliance eh. Talagang dark black yung ginamit niya. Kasi alam niya, yep. worth it kahit mamatay siya doon. And it bought that free lord a little bit of a choke and an eventual push, managing the waves here. Sinisink ng Black International on top, mid at bottom. The Luminous Lord marching on through top lane. And it's just a matter of time. 48k to 44k, 15 minutes in. Uh, it seems rules on story and engagement and next week it's lamang sila kapag malinaw na alam nila kung nasa yung blacklist. It's still about that vision. Ang, ang hirap na sitwasyon ng next play. Exactly. We'll see kung ang ano to, ide-defend sa'yo ng NXT. They do have good defense. Ano talaga sila matatala ni Haji. They have to choose their fight. Look at where Ureshi is. Ang ganda nung kanyang flank. Dito sa may kanan. Sabi ni Wise, dito tayo. Oh, forcing out the Rampaging Sandstorm. Wala nang ult. Si Ureshi. And he's forced to back out. Now he goes eventually. Haji still gets his man. Tarek Imam. He's on another level. That's a jump in by Dominic. Falling Star Moon. Nagamit niya na nga dito. That's gonna be a nice. Way to clear the way. What's up, Buhay si Donut? Buhay ang pangarap ng next to Evos. But for how much longer? There's the Hagat! That's gonna be 1,000! There's the Fold! Ahem! Ang Hagat! The Robot! That's gonna be game number 2! Blacklist International sitting at 2-0. So, from the bed ng Lunox pick na to. Haji Lunox. I mean, we were talking about how hindi na magano kaganda yung mid lane na Lunox. Pero kung babalik tayo sa mga time na sikat na sikat at Johed at Matilda, it was the answer. In fact, yun yung ginagamit nila para hindi makaharap yung Matilda pati itong uh, um, Johed. And this time, dalawa pa yung Kaplan. Plus, may plan Esmeralda. So, it's very difficult, difficult para sa NXP Evos na humanap ng place dito with their draft. Plus points na lang talaga na maganda yung connection ng mga members sa Blacklist. Particularly yung ano, di ba yung spear mula sa Populent Kupa sa may talon. Hindi na Ruby Didi, talagang darkness na lang. Sobrang sakit ng damage kasi may crystal at genius one na si uh, um, Haji. Well done from this team.